Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hawthorne. Hi, how is everybody? Good. Uh, Good morning. Good Welcome back. Is this, is this day three? This, this is, is day three. three. So exhausted. Oh, my God. day three of Mike Hawthorne reinvents <laughs> comics and pop art. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yes. Mr. Mike Hawthorne. Hello. Hello, everybody. How many comic creators do you know that will just stick around for three days? They'll just hang out. Like, I haven't moved. My legs have gone numb. My feet have fallen off. And no. you haven't even asked for food. I haven't. I mean, it's I crazy. It's I ate, I ate my left hand so I could keep drawing. With the <laughs> yeah. Well, we <laughs> just, we just, just leave the Chewies alone. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Chewies. <laughs> <laughs> Lefty and Barry, where'd you go? <laughs> Lefty and Barry. I dropped, I dropped the thumb while I was eating my hand, and they fought over it. So now there's only one Chewie. <laughs> 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 the other one didn't make it. <laughs> And now it owes your thumb. And now he has my thumb to sustain him until the end of the interview. <laughs> oh my god! I need to draw that. <laughs> Just like a big hand bone, but it's a thumb. <laughs> That's actually a really good concept for the plate for the plate idea. Ah, there you go. Is like the plight of chew of the chewies. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the thing that you have to do though. Yeah. With the plates is like the stuff like asparagus and like broccoli, the stuff that no one wants to eat. Put the most exciting. Content panels on it. <laughs> yeah. Find out. Yeah. 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 Hey, kids, you, you want to find do. out what happens to Batman? You Eat your broccoli. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's, I, you know, there's darkness under the spinach. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, it, it's, I, I know you guys want to talk a little bit about um, crowdfunding. And this is one of those projects that I actually flirted with the idea of actually trying to get off the ground with some crowdfunding. Um, there's some local guys that are that are doing a, a zombie series called um, Fubar here near me, and 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 these guys are to me sort of an inspiration because they're they're going in alone and they've had some huge success, and so I'll, I'll like talk to these guys and try to ask for advice on how I might you know fund a project completely independently through somebody like Kickstarter or Indiegogo or something you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So anyway, I'm sort of doing no, a segue yeah, for you. Sorry. No, that's Food cool. Bar, that, that's the one that would see uh, the World War II themed one, right? Right. Well, they're war themed. They started out, uh, I think, World War One or something, and then they went to World War Two, and then uh, now sort of all wars uh, are open for for the zombie treatment with gotcha. them, and, and they're fun as hell, man. And the guys themselves, it's it's a group of artists I met at a local art school here that I actually started teaching at uh, two semesters ago called the Pennsylvania College of Art and Design. Mm-hmm. And um, the the program just like puts them through the ringer. So by the time they're like halfway through, they're ready to, to, to get rolling. And these guys jumped in with both feet and made their, their career, man. Like, I mean, they, they've been on the New York Times bestseller list with this book, and I can't say that, wow. you know? Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think wow. it's amazing, man. Yeah. And yeah, all on their own. They were trying to fund uh, one of their comics when I was doing uh, my comic. Uh, I think it was like it was called like Mother Russia or something like that. It oh, was, yeah, uh, yeah. That was... Um... That was fairly recently, I think. Yeah, that was just like in December, and I and right. I was blown away because like right off the bat, like I think within like three days they had their funding and plus. Yeah, dude. You know, it was it was ridiculous, and it looks so cool. They have a very very dedicated fan base. Um, I I hate to say fan base because that there feels like somehow that the, the fans don't feel right. You know, like these people are sort of their evangelists. Like they love these guys to death, and the guys respect that and. Give them what they want and, and and really try hard to make them happy, um, and and it's just fantastic. I actually worked with them. I did a, a cover. They had a free comic book day uh, issue. They did so. I did the cover for it, and they were great to me, man. I mean, just very professional, but very intimate, very very you know friendly. It's just all the stuff you kind of want your crea- comic creators to be like, you know, and nice. just down to earth and 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 but incredibly talented. Huh. 
That and zombie people tend to be able to party. Like, there's yeah. The, <laughs> zombie, like, say what you want about zombie comics. Like, zombie comic creators tend to want to get you too drunk and <laughs> have too much fun at shows and be too cool yeah. and be too distracting. Oh, I guess that end of the world party like it's 1999 attitude. Yeah, maybe that's you know? it. <laughs> they do. They live it. They live it. <laughs> These are great dudes, man. They really are. So. Cool. Yeah, the work in, on Fubar just looks amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah to dive cool. in. So. And just too oh, many good comics out there in the world. Not enough time and money. <laughs> I know. Yep. Really good right times. Now. Good times. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, it's really an amazing time, man. Like, there's. It's it's one of the few times I can remember where you go to the comic shop, and there's there's more stuff to buy than, than you can afford, man. I mean, it's like there was a few years there where I'd go to the comic shop and just it was very hard for me to find anything I wanted to pick up. Mm-hmm. And that seems to have changed, man. There's some pretty amazing stuff, you know. And and from guys that are like still experimenting who who don't necessarily have to, man. like my good friend Rick Remender, um, I, I think I mentioned Fear Agent. I mean, he's like a real we sort of came up together, uh, working on a couple like these, you know, some comics like Terminator uh, 3D adaptation and some other stuff. And, um, you know, he he made it pretty big, obviously at Marvel, but he's still doing his own thing, which I respect the hell out of. And there's a ton of guys like him that are still established, but still doing independent books. There's a there's a, a an yeah. enormous, just like a glut of talent of new new guys and, and girls that are just doing kick ass stuff. It, it's it's crazy right now, man. It's pretty exciting. It is, and it's it's good to hear that there's artists that are still doing it because, like, I mean, I, I can definitely speak for for Mike and I being, you know, the the artist end as well as the writer end. I mean, yeah. we're pretty much all on our own doing this thing. Um, you know, like you may have a day job. Yeah. Um, so these guys, their day job is comics, but then having that energy. It's easy to it's easier to hate your whatever day job, right? And know that comics is at the end of your day, so you can just <laughs> yeah. pour your energy into it. Yeah. But when you yeah. just do comics, and you're now going to make your comics, I, yeah, you have to respect that there's anything left in that well. You know, it's That's hard, amazing. man. I, yeah, I won't lie. It, it's I mean, from I can't speak for for these guys, but for me, it's really difficult. I never really thought there would be a time where, you know, I'd feel almost burnt out on drawing and there are times when you hit that wall and you're thinking like my god what am I doing like I I mean man like there was a couple times where I was thinking all right I've, I've gone too far with this I need to like get a, a job with a future like I don't know a crash test dummy or, <laughs> or something. <laughs> like there, there's no, what am I doing with this man I'm drawing for you know 12 hours plus a day pulling all these all-nighters yeah. but I mean it, it's sort of I I Man, it's when the thing is done and you get a little rest and you look back at it. I mean, I can't go more than a day without drawing, mm-hmm. and I haven't gone a day without drawing for a long time. And every time you think, "Man, to hell with this! I need a break," you know, and and I'll take a vacation, and inevitably I'm drawing again, you know. So word, yeah, cool. yeah. word. Well, there's um, there's a really cool thing that you've been getting into that has nothing to do with. Uh, comics at all, but comic shops. Well, it's related to comic shops. Yeah. That's a terrible segue. But, That's okay. Um, yeah, I thought you were going to bring up the snuff porn. Oh, God. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh, man. <laughs> Five. That's later. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to pay for that content. I, I, know? Thought, I, I thought we bought all that stuff back. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Break. Break. Right um, next to the Godzilla bootlegs at C2E2. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Hawthorne's brand um yeah so um no but it's it, i think it's really cool that uh you've been involved with the uh comic book legal defense fund uh food drives well <laughs> okay if, if uh, i appreciate that actually i will make one correction it's actually not uh we're not we're not directly connected to comic legal defense fund um okay we it's actually kind of a long story um i started it when uh mike waringo died and the original thinking was uh, when he died, he had some pretty specific charities he wanted to give money to. And um, I, I, I thought, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do this cookout. And I, had, I have a background in, in cooking, nothing like fancy, but I'd worked as a cook for a while. And I thought, I don't like, I don't like going to conventions where I had to sit behind a table and there's this weird barrier between 
the people who read my my stuff and me. So mm. I thought I'll, I'll we'll set up a grill outside of my uh, my friend's comic shop, and we'll just cook everybody lunch, and they can bring money donations. And uh, so that first year we gave all the money to um, the Heroes Initiative, and um, so yeah, so and and we did it in Mike's honor. I also um, we sent some money, I think, to what I forget which of the two. I think that was his charity of choice, and he also uh, cared pretty deeply about um, the SPCA, and 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 so I actually we we went and adopted a couple of dogs in his name too. And um, anyway, so the next year we sort of decided that that I I, I wanted a more local charity. And I'd grown up pretty poor and eating in soup kitchens and things like that. So we decided on the Central PA Food Bank. And since it was a food-themed thing, um, it made more sense. So we've been doing it, I guess it's been six years. And it's every summer, and, and we get together, and I'm just cooking, like, these hand-pattied uh, hamburgers. And I make these Greek um, – I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Greek food at all. We, these pork kebabs are called souvlakia. Mm -hmm. Um and Bill, the friend of mine that owns the comic shop, makes me do hot dogs. Grudgingly, I I, I, <laughs> I make the hot dogs too. But I mean, but it's huge, man. Are you a communist? Not, Come yeah. on. <laughs> put, some, put some feta on it. I know. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we get a couple hundred people off for that, man. And every year we collect enormous sums of food for the food bank. Awesome. Um, the fans, are, it's it's so awesome. And what's great about it is like it's become such a big social event here locally that like. You know, we have people who, who have moved away will cook, who will come back specifically for the cookout. And it's just huge. It's fantastic. And it sort of goes back to what I was saying about comic fans sort of being a special breed. Like, I'm, I'm amazed. Every year is better than the year before. Every year we collect more food than the year before. Um, it's branched out to a couple of other events. This is the only cookout we do, but we do some other signings where we raise food for the food bank. And, you know, one of those, one of those uh, events will... will I, we'll get like a ton of food, literally. And you know, what, one uh, the one last one we did, um, I think the food bank told us that it was enough food to feed a family of four for like six months. Oh, fabulous! Nice. Which oh, is amazing, right. dude. So, yeah, this is pretty close to my heart. It started out in honor of Ringo, but I selfishly sort of, you know, made it about local folks here. Oh, so, hard well, if there's selfish. anything you're going to be selfish about, make it helping others. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, man. Like. I mean, I ate at a lot of soup kitchens, and I would was proud about it, and I tried to pretend like I didn't, but I've come to terms with it, and the honest truth is, like, there were a lot of days we'd have gone hungry if it weren't for some of the local food banks, so, wow. um, yeah, so it's a big it's it's a big deal to me, and I'm glad you brought it up, man. I appreciate that. Sure, it's amazing. There's just um, yeah, so and many... It, do you have, like, a, a website or anything? Because if so, we can definitely put a, a link in the, the description. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll send you the Facebook. Uh, it, I do it through a buddy of mine's comic shop. It's called Comics Connection. Uh, he has two stores here in Central PA. Um, it's owned by uh, two friends of mine, Bill Wall and Ned. Uh, crap, Ned's going to kill me. I forgot his last name. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, McGillicuddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, Ned Semft. Sorry, forgive me. Um, and these guys are fantastic, man. And every year, they're so hugely supportive. And this thing is, it's like I said, it's grown every year. And I, I'll send you the Facebook page. But anybody can go to comicsconnection.com. It's sort of their store webpage. But um, that's where he posts most, most of the information for the cookout. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely put all that information on vorradio.com and cool. in the descriptions of the YouTube. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to wrap mm. it up for today. Uh, I'm glad yeah. we got that in there, though. Uh, cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so join us tomorrow, and we're going to finish up with uh, Mr. Mike Hawthorne uh, and maybe get to talking to some Deadpool, maybe? Yeah. Because, right I mean, I think, the, I think the Internet will be pretty angry with us if we get you sat down <laughs> okay. and we don't at least talk a little Deadpool. So. I, yeah, I think you might get some, some hate mail. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Uh, that's part of the course, my, my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Hate mail's better than no mail. <clears throat> that's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. All right, guys. Well, until tomorrow, we'll be in your ears and in your eyes. And may the force be with that ass. <laughs> Whose ass? <laughs> <laughs>
Better. Better. Mike's ass. <laughs> <laughs>